Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about products that absolutely do not work, that I do not like, that are in all price points, and of all categories, so some skincare, body care, self-tanner that was a disaster, oh my, ugh. We need to talk about it. Uh, makeup items, higher end, drugstore. I have a bin in front of me. I was gonna do just 10, but there is more than 10. So we're just gonna get down to it. I do wanna say that if you like this makeup look, which I am loving, like everything that I'm wearing right now, I love, as opposed to this that I'm staring at, like, ah, I had a bad time with you. But then I'm like, I look in the monitor and I'm like, gorgeous, makeup, beautiful. This is the No Makeup Makeup Foundation from Paracore. I just filmed that video. I'll link it below. The only thing I altered was, and in the video I explain, I put a couple other normal makeup items mixed in with the no makeup makeup. And then for this one, I was like, I'm feeling like maybe just like a little more is more. So I popped on some lashes from Lava Lashes. Everything I used will be listed in the description box below as usual. But if you wanna see that video, go check it out. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do ring the bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos because this is the place where we try it all, the good, the bad, the great, instant reviews, wear tests, bad products, drugstore high-end. It's kind of like a mix of everything for makeup lovers. So if you wanna be notified of when I upload, then ring the bell. All right, let's hop right in. Let's talk about the self-tan nightmare. I'm really disappointed because I had heard good things and I really like the idea of a moisturizing self-tanner. This is an oil self-tan. It's called the Hydrating Natural Glow. Tips and tricks. Don't use this. Moving on, just kidding. Um, I'm gonna tell you more. This says to wait at least eight hours before bathing to allow color to develop. It's like a longer developing time. So I put it on and I was like, oh my God, yes. Like everything was great. Aside from the fact that it is super messy. So immediately I was like, gosh, this is like staining my bathroom counter. Like you kind of have to work fast and like make sure you're in a space where you don't mind self tan that's very liquidy like water liquid like it's not even an oil liquid it's just like water it's the craziest it will get everywhere but i put it on and i was like oh yeah i feel so good and then the next morning i woke up and i was working out and i'm like oh oh my god like i'm embarrassed to wear short sleeves right now and it is hot outside a self-tan disaster, in my opinion, is like one of the worst because I have scrubbed, I have tried, I have pulled every trick. I Someone said to put toothpaste on my arm, I did that. I don't know what more I can do other than just wait this one out, but it is just like, it just did not develop right. And I use self-tanner, like I know how to use self-tanner. I know how to make it look good. I really love Loving Tan, really love Saint Tropez. The one time that I got the most flawless tan of my life was when I thought it would be like a really fun take on the mixing like a bunch of products together type of a thing. Remember when everyone was doing like mixing all my foundations, mixing all my powders, and that was like a challenge video that was going around. And I remember I was laying in bed and I'm like, I know, I'll mix all of my self tanners. It'll be so fun and maybe terrible and it'll be really funny and fun and interesting. And so I had like a red bowl and I was like whisking together like all of my self tanners and I'm like, don't know how this is gonna land. It was the best tan of my life. What is happening with this whole trend of mixing literally anything together and having it turn out good? I looked like Barbie legs, like, ooh. I daydream about it and I'm like, maybe I should just always do that and like mix it all together. Anyway, that was the best self tan. The second best self tan is the pre-shower Saint Tropez. Let's move on to some makeup because that's more fun, right? Let's talk about mascara. This is a newer launch, break my heart. This from Laura Mercier, the caviar volume does not give me enough volume. I wore this two separate times and both times I grabbed for something else to pile on top of it. Because for me, I like a lot of lash, obviously. I love wearing falsies. But when I'm not wearing falsies, I really want something to lift, curl, lengthen, volumize, not flake, not smudge, not be overly clumpy, but also not be too thin or natural. It's kind of like in the middle. I demand a lot from my mascara. This did not do it. 
The brush is just too big and soft. <laughs> it feels like it's just not enough to like wiggle in there and like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and pull, which is my method. And I kind of blink into my mascara as well. And this one just gave me the equivalent of like a basic drugstore mascara. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna say that about anything Laura Mercier because I love a lot of Laura Mercier products, specifically the skin products, the translucent powder that everybody adores, the foundations that they bring out are always just so gorgeous. And I was hoping I would like this more, I don't. Stellar Beauty has been another brand that I really, really love. I talk about their glosses, I talk about their primers. Um, I really enjoy a lot of their powders for the face, blush, shadows. They have a really, really great range. I will link below a video where I first tried the range all together. It's sold at Sephora, select Sephora's and then online. This mascara though, just same thing. This one was too firm. So it's just like, I can't be pleased. I'm like, it's too soft, too firm, not doing enough. I want it to do everything. And you know what? I have found formulas that will do everything. I will give you a rattling of like my top five right now. Uh, Sally's Club, the Tom Ford. Wow, that's like two price point polar opposites. Uh, I also super still love L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Essence makes great mascaras. The one in the purple tube is my favorite. And then Benefit Roller Lash is actually super good, especially for the lower lash line. Thanks mom for getting me back into that one. Okay, moving right along. I have something from Hard Candy that I picked up at Walmart after going to the dentist. Because in my life, when I go to the dentist, I always go to Walmart. I don't have a Walmart in my neighborhood and my dentist is far away, but he's so great. Uh, and so I always end up going to Walmart after to see if they have new drugstore makeup, new hard candy, things that they don't carry at your regular CVS Rite Aid. And hard candy is specifically like what I go on the hunt for. So I picked up this and I was hoping that it would be I don't know what I was, it, look at this, it's like chalk. Do you even see any kind of a shine? Like, let me show you, just so you see just how much this is not reflecting. It's the craziest thing ever. I was having like the most killer makeup day and I was like, ooh, I need highlight. And I was like, I know what I'm doing, my new hard candy highlighter. And I put it on and I was like, hey, my life right now, I can't believe I wrecked everything for this dumb highlighter. Just does nothing except for makes it look like you dusted chalk on your face. No, I don't like it. This was super disappointing. Do you know what's also disappointing? That I filmed an entire video trying out a lot of luxury products for the first time and I lost the card. That happens sometimes as a YouTuber and it was a sad day for me, but I tried this one on camera and it will not build. I don't know what the deal is. I bought this, I saw it online, and for some reason I was like, look at that packaging, that is stunning. This really is pulling my attention. I love the color setup, this is gonna be magical. And it just was so not magical, you guys. Like this is so underwhelming, especially for the price. Like, are you kidding me? It's like dulled down and like just not even anything that great. This was expensive and I just want to tell you guys, if you see this, the collection looks so great. Do think twice about purchasing this because even if you're someone that really likes just a subtle application of color, because some people do like that, I like for there to be at least a medium level of pigmentation to more extreme pigmentation. I just don't want to waste my time. I don't want to be here forever, but some people like a lighter wash of color and that's fine. This one gives you such a light wash of color that it almost dusts everywhere and looks a little bit uneven. And because it has that sheen in it in all of the colors, it's just difficult to work with in my opinion. All right, another shadow that I'm just not into and it's because all of them break so freaking easily is from Winky Lux. And also like this is an individual pan. I'm sure that you can crack it out of here and put it in like a Z palette, but I have a bunch of them that are broken. Don't even waste your time with this. Winky Lux has much better products. Their diamond powder for setting the face is beautiful. They have beautiful lip products. Um, they do have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I love. I've tried out um, their Coco palette. They have a Kitty palette. This one right here is the Latte Kitten palette. And you know, it's not the most magical ever. I like the coffee one the best. It kind of smells like coffee too. Um, but these in the actual palette like this, 
protects it much better. So you would be better off purchasing this one versus these little mini individuals. You have been warned, they will break and you will be sad. And you could have avoided it if you watched this video, um, maybe you will. Okay, so moving on from there, I have another YSL product and this is the Eyeliner Faux Sil. Now, this is really beautiful and it does work nicely. The problem is it works in a way where it builds and almost gets thicker in texture. So if you go back over it to correct your eyelashes, like to conceal an eyelash band, or if makeup falls on your liner and you kind of want to conceal that and like refresh it, it will actually build and get kind of crunchy and lumpy. And I do not like that. So I recommend still the Fenty liner that I put in my underrated products video. I also feel like I put, I put that in another video too. I'm really into that one. I think it's so good. This just did not do it. The brush shape in here is really nice, but the way that it just does not want to layer is kind of strange. I just don't like it. Okay, I have another eyeshadow palette. Now this really surprised me because I almost always love NARS shadows. So I wanna point out, they came out with these little guys right here where you get a highlight and a blush and they're just so subtle that they don't really do much at all. So this is just a confusing product to me. Of course, I've mentioned in the past NARS blushes. I don't really know why they blotch on me. I find them really difficult to blend. Uh, these shadows, difficult to blend. It's not even that they're boring colors because I love boring colors. Like I love neutrals. Neutrals are not boring. Why do we think they're boring? Just because they're not like lime, green, neon. But this is just dialed down in a way where it almost looks dusty and just kind of stale. And I'm not a big fan of that. I think that you can do neutral in a really, really fun way. And I'm gonna show you an example of a palette from NARS that I do really love. And let's just side by side it so that you guys can understand what I am talking about. This right here just has so much dimension depth and the neutral tones that you would use like for liner or outer V, crease. They just have a more bold presence where you're just not gonna be wasting your time. It looks like these colors are the same, like the two up top over here, they absolutely are not. This, I don't know what happened with these. I've tried it a few times. I thought it would be really good to kind of, you know, pop in the purse and like out you go, but I'm just not in it. They made these like little teeny tiny um, six pan guys that I put I think in another favorites or underrated that I love that are so great. The formula is just like bright and bam, bam and like there and easy to blend. Formula is really good on this one too. This one, I don't know what happened. I wanna briefly discuss a brush that is overpriced. It's from La Mer which I'm sure a lot of you are laughing. You're like, everything from La Mer is overpriced. This one right here, I would like try to do for cream underneath the eye. I would try to do it for foundation. I even tried it for contour. There is something about this brush that is packed and cut in such an interesting way that it just does not want to grab the product completely and evenly. So it's really difficult to blend. And I was like, dude, why is this so expensive? Like Tom Ford brushes are really expensive, but then you do your makeup with them and you're like, oh yeah, I get it. Like this is freaking awesome. This is just like, they slapped their name on it and it's just not worth the money. I really love La Mer foundations. Um, their powders are gorgeous. Their bronzer, crazy expensive, but gorgeous. Whenever they release the limited summer stuff, it's usually really, really beautiful in terms of color for La Mer. But this was just like kind of a waste your time purchase. Thought I'd give you guys a heads up on that. And then I also recently tried the Armani Power Fabric Concealer. I had high hope for this because the reviews were really great and everyone was like, oh yeah, it's so great, it's so good. It creased on me pretty quickly and it did not cover. It kind of did that thing where you kind of blend it down and then areas of your dark circle kind of pop through so it looks a little bit uneven. I don't really like that. So that was another pass. And last but not least, this is from Bioderma. I recently had an opportunity to try a lot from Bioderma aside from just their famous micellar water and I got a box of product. A lot of it I do really love. This one right here is a serum and it is for dehydrated sensitive skin. Now the reason that I'm bringing this up as an item that I don't like is not because it's terrible. I just have 
uh, a, not a warning, but a little bit of information that I'd like to give as if you have sensitive dehydrated skin, this is not gonna give you enough cushion and it's just not gonna give you as much as maybe you would want reading the front of the bottle. I did not find this particularly nourishing and I just did not get enough out of it to continue use. However, if you have oilier skin, I think this would be incredible. It's a gel-like consistency, it's a nice texture, it sinks in the skin really quickly, but if you have drier, topically dehydrated skin, it won't be enough. If you have oilier skin that is sensitive and you're using a lot of products that are salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, and you need something to kind of heal the skin in terms of a little hydration, but you don't wanna go like full oil and make your skin kind of react and become too greasy and break out more. There's like that fine dance and that fine battle with oilier skin. I think this would be really, really beautiful. But if you have drier skin, uh, the dehydrated line, just not enough. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I hope that you found this interesting. I always love making these videos where I share with you everything that did not work and why it didn't work. And of course, also including, you know, who this might be good for or just like what to watch out for when you're thinking of purchasing particular products. So if you like these kind of videos and you wanna see more of them, please hit that thumbs up button. As always, make sure you are subscribed. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. I am typically here Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we might be changing that ever so often, but check back in Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I love uploading for you guys a lot. I love making these videos and I just hope that you enjoy them. All right, go have a good one and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.